welcome back. All right, so uh, today uh, Yvonne and I went to, there was a graduation ceremony for um, her eldest, Malachi, who graduated from um, homeschooling. So that's the thing. And there were nine other kids there. Uh, it was a very religious sort of thing. And there are opinions I have on that, but that's not the reason for this video. No, I, I may discuss that at another time or maybe not. You know, there was a time where we would say, you know, politics and religion, you don't discuss publicly. And then somewhere over the last 20 years, people are like, that's all you discuss. And I, I don't agree. So I'm wearing my Ramstein hat and there's a reason. So uh, the Ramstein's drummer, Christoph Schneider, who I've always thought was cool. It, it took a while, but a statement came out from him today. Uh, this is translated uh, from his original post on Instagram. And I, I want to read this out because I, I think this is key. Dear people, I would like to share my personal emotions and thoughts with you. And man, Christoph, you became my favorite member of the band with this. Um, the accusations of the last few weeks have deeply shaken us as a band and me as a person. You fans certainly too. I feel as if in shock as I feel as if in shock by the things that have been shared on social media and in the press and in print about our singer. Uh, this is an ebb and flow of emotions for us band members and crew. No, I don't think anything criminally relevant, and then he puts in brackets, such as the use of knockout drops happened, so the roofing of drinks. No, I don't think anything illegal was going on, I've never seen anything like it, nor heard anything like it from our crew of 100 people. All I heard from Till's parties were adults celebrating together, and yet things seem to have happened that, although legally okay, I personally don't think are okay. And there you go. And that's why the band couldn't come out and made a statement like this right away. I mean, you know, again, Kristoff, to me, saves it. Uh, the band is more than one person. This is the important thing with Ramstein. They are they are a collective of six guys who very often clearly don't get along. If you've watched any documentary on Ramstein, you can tell they don't get along a lot of the time. They're all interviewed separately for a reason. Um, certain structures have grown that went beyond the limits and values of the other band members. It's also important to us that Till's parties are not confused with our official after-show parties. And that's a key thing, too. So they have their after-show parties, and then, yeah, Till's got his own thing he's doing. Till has distanced himself from us in recent years and created his own bubble. And, you again, if you followed the band a lot, and I have, you can feel that. You could feel that Till was kind of on his own thing. He dates supermodels that are half his age, which is fine. If he wants to do that, they want to date, great. But it does feel like he's, he's definitely separated from the rest of the band at this point. Uh, with their own people, their own parties, their own projects. Uh, that made me sad, definitely. I believe Till, when he tells us he always wanted and still wants to give his private guests a good time. How exactly these guests had imagined this, however, seems to differ, in some cases, from his own ideas. Uh, the wishes and expectations of the women who have now come forward were probably not fulfilled. According to their statements, they felt uncomfortable on the edge of a situation they felt they could no longer control. And that's the thing, right? There's the power imbalance where you have, you know, famous singer of a famous group and just women that are basically nobodies, right? Women that nobody's necessarily going to believe their word over his and, and the power structure is as it is. Um, so I feel sorry for her and I feel compassion as the next sentence to start the next uh, uh, paragraph. However, it is important for me to emphasize that something objective. Every guest in the backstage area is free to leave. They may have to wait a moment for security to lead them safely to an exit. All bottles are sealed and in the view of guests freshly opened or they open them themselves. Water and snacks are available just like security personnel and Medicare, medical care available at any time. We want our guests to feel comfortable and safe with us. This is our standard, so I'm sorry to hear that some didn't feel that way. We have the greatest fans in the world and they deserve to be treated with respect. I'm sorry for anyone who wasn't treated kindly or felt unsafe backstage with us. Also for Shelby, she deserved a great concert and a wonderful evening. So she was the one that initially came forward, right? Um, and she, he's not saying she's lying. He's not getting all over. And I've seen the personal attacks against her. But I don't want this whole public figure dispute about our band to feed the extremes. Neither the beast of social media, which has not yet been tamed by our society, nor paternalistic tendencies to deny women in their mid-20s, the ability to make self-determined decisions about their sexuality, and also by no means victim blaming, so that people continue to, to date, to talk about as if about it if something happened to them. Uh, I wish for a calm, level-headed reflection and processing also in our band. Agreed. No argument there at all. Uh, all of us, 
Sick, all of us together, six of us, we stand together, yours, Christoph Schneider. So he becomes my favorite member of the band with that statement. Um, and, and honestly, Till is, and that's, that's the thing, is that I've seen in the videos I've talked about with Rammstein, I've made it clear, this is a Till thing, it's not Flake, it's not Paul. I remember when we, we uh, my, my ex and I, we went to Edmonton to, to see Rammstein, and we could hear the band practicing. And we were outside of the building, because what else we're going to do? We're in Edmonton. We don't know anybody in Edmonton. We just we went down to the building early. We're like, let's go down to Rexall and see what's going on. So we were next to the building, and a van pulls up, like a minivan. And the side door opens up, and Paul jumps out. And then he he kind of runs into the building, doesn't look up at us or anything. And I'm like, that was, that was Paul, one of the guitarists. What was he doing? The rest of the band's already... So like in my mind, it was like, what was going on there? But I, I really thought that was that was kind of interesting and entertaining. Like just some random minivan drives up and Paul gets out. Okay, so that happened. And and I've always felt like there's these these stories probably with the band when they're traveling around the world that would be very interesting to hear. But there's always been that I don't know, Till's always been a different kind of person. He's always been very, very different from the rest of the band. You can tell the ego is there. I understand that's part of his his presence on stage. It's part of who he is. It's what makes him the lead of the band, the, the front front man. This is why if something were to happen and Till left the band, I don't think they would ever try to replace him. You can't. It's, it is definitely, been, like for instance, Slipknot, one of my other favorite bands, they've changed members a few times. Um, one of the members got changed out recently. Clown's not touring with them this time around either. And I don't think that would influence my my choice to go and see them. I know when Jordy or Joey uh, Joey Jordison uh, left the band, and of course he tragically passed not long after that. But I remember there were people who said Slipknot's dead to me because you know Joey Jordison's out of the band, and I I never really bought into that because to me Slipknot really is as long as you have Corey Taylor and as long as you have a couple of the other main members of the band, it's still Slipknot. You can change members out, but because they wear masks, because of how they are, it's like Ghost. Ghost is Tobias. As long as Tobias is there, it's still Ghost. I, it doesn't matter who the rest are. The faceless ghouls can be who they are. But with Ramstein, it really is everybody, collectively. So that statement today, great statement. Uh, very well put. Very well spoken by Christoph. And again, I have always felt like, of the band members, I think Flake would be a lot of fun to talk to. Um, really, has just kind of come across in interviews as being pretty smart, pretty cerebral. And the band members in general are pretty cerebral. But there's varying levels with that, right? And so the band has their their individual style and their individual personalities. But when they come together, the music they create is, I think, the best music I've ever heard. And that's why the last month has been tough. But that statement by Christoph is great. Um, honestly, I don't think he would have put that out without telling the other guys and saying, hey, so I'm going to do this. Uh, the fact that Till separated from the rest. When when the band Lindemann came, started up, and it's him and, and uh, I'm trying to remember the guy's name now, but the band Pain, um, it was, he's he's the lead singer of the band Pain. Anyways, when, when Lindemann started his own thing, I had some concern that that would break the band up. I thought, you know, if, if Till gets his own thing and if he feels more comfortable with that, Maybe he'll leave the rest of the guys and say, you know, Ramstein was fun, but I'm going to go do this thing now. This is great. And if he likes to have parties that the rest of the band wouldn't necessarily get behind, then, yeah, that solo act and going on tour as a solo act, not really a solo act, but kind of because it's his name on the band, right? Um, that might really appeal to him, too. Like, yeah, I can have really wild parties when I don't have to deal with those wet blankets and Ramstein. And so... Yeah, we'll see what happens from here. But that was that was a nice statement. Um, big fan of Kristoff for that. And I had to talk about it tonight because I saw that and I was like, yeah, I, I've got to talk about that. And just how that's the kind of statement that they should have had from the start. I'm not saying there should be a rush to judgment and he's got to go to jail and all this. Although there has been an investigation open now by German authorities. So that's out there, right? Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. My guess is probably not much because it's going to be a he said, she said situation. And without any actual, you know, 100% concrete proof, I'm not sure what they can do. Right. Um, but row zero appears to be gone. But at the same time, they have before and after parties. And it's important that you still have that connection with your fans. 
And I never said you can't have parties and connections with your fans. Um, and yeah, I, I think uh, I think that's great. I, I think that his statement was all exactly what needed to be said. And there you go. So kudos to Kristoff. I hope everybody's having themselves a wonderful Friday night. And uh, I had intended to do another hockey video tonight, but it's 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 just too late for that. So we'll probably throw in something extra tomorrow, it being a Saturday and all. And it sounds like Yvonne's got stuff she's doing with the kids all day. So you guys are going to be stuck with me doing videos all day tomorrow from the looks of things. Uh, but yeah, so uh, thank you guys so much for all your support, uh, for those who are subscribers. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't. And again, yeah, it's my letter Kenny shirt. I, I, I It was funny because I get ready to go tonight. And I've got all these jerseys, right? I've got all this. And I was like, well, I've got to have a dress shirt. Well, the last time we went out and I, I got dressed up, which was, you know, just a couple weeks ago, um, I I had a black dress shirt. And I was like, all right, well, I'll wear the black dress shirt. I don't have another dress shirt. <laughs> and I said out loud, I have hundreds and hundreds of jerseys and I have one dress shirt. Oh my gosh, I need to get out of the house more often. It's just... It's so weird. So this is as close to something dressy as I had, other than a black dress shirt. So thankfully, I I, I wasn't underdressed for the occasion, but it looks a thing. But uh, I would say that based on how religious everybody else was there, they probably don't know what this is. <laughs> it's probably gonna be people going, "Hey, yeah, the shirt that said Letter Kenny. Maybe you work, maybe it's a company he works for." Like nobody asked me. But uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, but hey, uh, thank you guys again so much for your support because it means a lot. Uh, the channel's growth has been amazing. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share because I think that's positive. I want to see this kind of a positive thing. And uh, yeah, um, and then, you know, I'll, I can listen to the band and wear all their stuff again, which is good because I have a lot of Ramstein shirts. It's some I should do a video where I point out all the Ramstein shirts I have. I swear it's almost as much as the hockey jerseys back here. But hey, that's for another time. Uh, I will talk to you guys again soon. And I also wanted to say, too, I got this tonight. This is the new Coke Zero. And it just says XP flavored. Um, and it's uh, it's uh, it's XP flavored. I, I, I Cotton candy, I'm guessing. If you guys have tasted this, it's cotton candy. Let me just have a quick taste here and I'll just... Now I'm getting berry. Anyways, all right, there you go. Uh, thank you guys again for your support. I will talk to you guys soon enough.